For me, philanthropy is just giving back something that I've received all of my life. I wanted to give my first gift to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because I, I worked down there as a volunteer and I'm very much aware of the educational opportunities that that museum affords to kids all over the world. So I thought I, I really would like to start with a, a donation there and I, I met people from the Cleveland Foundation and they explained what a charitable gift annuity was, which assures me that I have an opportunity to collect uh, for my life expenses now and yet give at the same time to an institution. So that's how it started and then I thought, well, rather than just keep giving to the Rock Hall, what about the art museum, the orchestra, the zoo, the Museum of Contemporary Art, all the places that I've enjoyed most of my life. So the charitable gift annuity allows me to give money to an institution now and yet collect uh, between five and six percent interest every year, certainly better than most of my stock investments would be, and yet I still am able to offer this charitable gift to the institutions that I, I really enjoy. It takes the leadership. Jill Schneider is a, a major voice in Cleveland in the artistic community. With a Museum of Contemporary Art, nothing is obvious. <laughs> it's always something that requires my personal involvement and my, my own concept of my life and how it's reflected in the artist's view of his life or her life. So I love, I love coming down here. It's always an interesting place to be. Well, you try and think of how people give and how people learn and how people are stimulated and how people get involvement, engagement. And in the classroom, it's difficult when the teacher stands and it's kind of sit and soak is the old model, you know. Whereas with museums, it's interactive. You can walk through the exhibit here and your interpretation of a piece might be entirely different than mine, but we'll both be engaged, we'll both be thinking, we'll both be um, working with the literature of the artist. And I think that's just extraordinary. Philanthropy is not only the very wealthy who help to build a hospital wing or who have a named room at a museum you walk in. Uh, it's also the opportunity for people with average incomes, like me, a school teacher, to get involved and to do something for the future of the area and the people who will be here long after I'm gone. I'm very impressed with what the foundation does with the money that's invested. The Cleveland Foundation has had an ex extremely successful investment plan. And even in down times in Cleveland, they've made money. So I'm glad to see that my money is working and that it's, it's going to the right causes. 